Do you think that you need to apologize on behalf of your race or gender to the general population? Probably not. But in this school in Australia, apparently, they didn't get that memo. This article points out that Brower College in Warrnambool, in Australia, and I probably pronounced that really horribly, they forced boys to apologize to female students because of sexism. It starts by saying that parents were outraged after they learned that their sons were forced to stand up at an assembly and apologize to their female classmates. The students were told to apologize to girls for offensive behavior on behalf of their gender. That, to me, sounds like the epitome of sexism. Essentially, though, the school was forcing this apology because there were more than a dozen students and parents who raised allegations of harassment and assault on campus. And effectively, instead of looking at the actual specific allegations and finding out who should be punished or what they should do, they decided to just punish everyone more broadly, I suppose. The principal said that as part of this discussion, talking about the harassment and assault on campus, boys were asked to stand as a symbolic gesture of apology for the behaviors of their gender that have hurt or offended girls and women. In retrospect, while well-intentioned, we recognize that this part of the assembly was inappropriate. Uh, yeah, you think? It was inappropriate. Now, I'm not going to pretend that the boys who were forced to stand up and apologize are traumatized from this because they probably aren't. But to be honest, if that were me, I'd be pretty upset. I didn't do anything wrong. You're lumping me in with people who have, I guess, assaulted and harassed women or girls because they're young girls. And you're telling me to apologize on behalf of them just because we happen to be of the same gender. This would effectively be like if a white guy broke into my neighbor's house and then my neighbor came to my house and demanded that I apologize on behalf of the criminal because I just so happened to be a white guy, just like the criminal was. I didn't do anything. I shouldn't have to apologize. But it's not really surprising, perhaps, that something like this has happened because this is what happens when you allow woke culture or critical race theory and all of those nonsense things into education. And Australia is apparently also implementing a consent class that will be compulsory in all government schools. Now, we don't know quite yet what that class will include, but I think it's safe to say it's going to have a good amount of woke nonsense because that's what these things tend to do. Now, if you remember, this happened in a school in Australia, and I tend to focus on US news, so you may ask why I'm talking about this in the first place. And that's because I could very easily see something like this happening in the United States. Consider this example that happened a few years ago as reported by Campus Reform, where a student was effectively barred from class for saying that he believed there were only two genders and he didn't believe in this idea of white privilege. In response to those comments, the student was told to write an apology to the professor and to begin class with an apology to the entire class for his behavior and then listen in silence as the professor and or any of the students talk about how they felt during this interaction. So effectively, he's being forced to apologize in writing to the professor and to the class at large, and then sit there and listen to the class criticize him and probably call him names. Now, this happened a number of years ago, so it's not super relevant anymore. But my point is that if something like this can happen at a U.S. school, because this was in Indiana, then it's not really that much of a stretch to imagine that forcing elementary school or middle school boys to apologize on behalf of their gender, well, that could happen too. 10 or 15 years ago, you probably wouldn't have imagined that something like this would happen. But now, it does. And that's the problem with allowing this woke nonsense into public schools. Now, I'm a big proponent of increasing pay for teachers because I think that in many cases they're underpaid. And if we pay them more, we'll get better quality teachers, presumably. But if you're a teacher who allows something like this or encourages it in your classroom, then no. I don't want you to get paid more. I don't really want you to be a teacher because this is effectively indoctrinating students. If you are telling boys one last time to apologize on behalf of their gender, that is indoctrination. I don't know how else to say it. You might as well just straight up tell them that men are bad because that's what some of these people actually believe, that being a male is inherently more immoral, I suppose, than being female. But what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have more instances of how ridiculous and woke school is, well, let me know that too, because I'm always interested to learn more about how much our culture is degrading, to put it simply. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.